Hey guys, how's it going? Matt Dillon here from Up North Backcountry. So I'm just out here today going for a hike. I just hiked in about maybe 300 meters to this spot. This spot is actually the first place I made my first video. It was on my sled and underneath my, my camera bag right there, I can't really see. Um, underneath my camera bag right there, there is a an old oil drum it looks like, some metal drum anyway. I put and I put this camera up on it. Well, it's actually my phone, but it's the only camera I had back then. I didn't have an Activion, like a GoPro style camera. Anyway, this is where I'll start it. So this is where I'm gonna start my hike today. I'm gonna make my way through the bush, hopefully find some wildlife, take some pictures of, um, but essentially I wanna go down the river somewhere. There's a nice little bay and I think with the sun, the way it is out today, the way the sun's out today, it's going to reflect off the trees really nicely and I'm going to be able to get some sweet shots. You know, without further ado, let's go get dirty. Let's get into the nitty gritty. I'm out here so that you guys don't have to be and you can enjoy it from the comfort of your home, on your phone, wherever it is you may be, and enjoy nature at its best. This is the heart of the Boreal Forest and I'm right in the middle of it just for you guys. Come on, let's go. me a little longer than expected the snow is very deep out here you know I should have brought some snowshoes but uh, I wasn't expecting it to be this deep I knew we got a lot of snow this year but I just thought the uh, the Sun kind of packed it down and hardened it up a bit but it's it's really sticky and soft out here so if you got a sled you're definitely gonna want to come up north because we got plenty of snow up here oh see what I mean when you got this much snow man Things are harder to, to get to. I'm definitely gonna invest in a pair of snowshoes though. Because it would help tremendously right now. my uh, my trusty companion making sure everything's safe for me you know I bring this dog anytime I can in the bush it, uh, it just makes me feel that much safer we've got a lot of wildlife around here and some of its uh, kind of dangerous if you know what I mean yeah so uh, of course I got to the spot I wanted to and the sky clouded over so I was hoping to get some nice shine shining uh, Sun off those trees really makes the colors pop but at least I got out here right you know it was fun nonetheless getting out here and I'll make the best of it this town I live in literally has like hundreds of lakes all around it I, I can take my pedal bike down a dirt road some old logging road that's been unmaintained and I get to my cottage in an hour now oh, that's uh, that's pretty fun and Nerve-wracking at times, you know, you, you hear cracks in the bush and you think it's a bear coming for you, so you, you pedal that bike a little faster. Um, but yeah, it, it just goes to show there's wildlife, there's, 
There's forest everywhere around here. There's lakes. The fishing around here is just amazing. Uh, a couple years back, we actually won Canada's top fishing town, and the town itself won about twenty-five thousand um, dollars. It's it's pretty amazing because we were up against the whole country, and we ended up winning. So that just goes to show how much of an outdoor enthusiast town this is. You have everything here from four-wheeling, snowmobiling, snowshoeing, cross-country skiing, kayaking, fishing, hiking, you know, we have such beautiful sunsets. We have the most gorgeous sunrises I've ever seen in my life. We got a sled coming by. This is what I mean by snowmobiling. Oh, man. That guy's giving it pretty good. You know, I think that's enough talking for today. I'm gonna try and get a couple more shots before I go and uh, hopefully we get some wildlife on the way back. But if not, hey man, this was a pretty cool adventure getting out here. Gorgeous, you know, it's amazing what we see with our eyes and what comes up on the camera. The, the way these cameras are set up now, it's just, it's unbelievable the quality of pictures that you can get. And the stars, there's so many more stars that we don't see with, the, with our eyes that are out there. 